Now at 10, hope for healing from COVID-19. An experimental drug with trials in Philadelphia could be a powerful new weapon in the battle against coronavirus. Good evening, I'm Jessica Cartalia. With more than a million confirmed cases in the United States, the FDA could approve remdesivir to treat COVID-19 at any moment. Greg Argos spoke with a Penn doctor who's seeing promising results firsthand. I remember the date like it was yesterday. It was March 16th. That's when Dr. William Short, an infectious disease expert with Penn Medicine, had his first COVID-19 patient come through the hospital doors. One after the other, patients start coming in. At the time, there was no official treatment for the virus. A couple weeks ago, we had nothing to offer. But now in the fight against COVID-19, Dr. Short says the FDA could issue emergency approval this week for remdesivir, an experimental antiviral drug. This drug happens to be blocking a enzyme that the virus uses. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, praising the drug Wednesday afternoon. It's really a, a opening the door to the fact that we now have the capability of treating. And it's actually really, really exciting is that this now becomes the new standard. Before we had no standard. The use of remdesivir comes after a federal trial shows promising results. 31% um, decrease in the recovery time and then a trend towards improved mortality. Some 1,000 patients participating, 20 at the University of Penn under Dr. Short's care. Of the 20 people we enrolled, almost all have gone home or have left the hospital. We do have something that works. Now the next hurdle is whether the drug's manufacturer will be able to produce enough of it. Approval is one thing, but it's really ramping up and getting that drug out to all the places and people that need it. Dr. Short says using remdesivir is only the first step. He says there are other tests using other drugs in conjunction with this antiviral, which could produce even better results. Reporting here in South Philadelphia, I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.